everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Christina here, and I'm super excited to bring you the first impressions. You can't see it. There we go. How about we'll put it at an angle. The first impressions try on of Kat Von D's new foundation, True Portrait. I am super excited, and wait till you see the component of this foundation. And my shade that I picked out is medium 0 to 7. And look at this bottle. Isn't this gorgeous? Now, to get the foundation out of the bottle, you squeeze right here. Um, kind of nervous about that because... What happens when you're completely down to the bottom? But, you know, we'll cross that bridge later on if I run out of it. So, we're going to jump right in. My face is completely washed, moisturized, and ready. I'm going to jump right into this video so it's not like, you know, 30 minutes long. I'm going to prep my face with primer, and my holy grail is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I have a big face, so I'm going to use, yes, I dropped it, two pumps, and you pat it in, and I wanted to hurry up and get the primer on, because you have to let it sit a minute and let it dry down so let's go down and pick that up okay so while that's drying I want to tell you a little bit more information about what it says on the box about this foundation um, it's a liquid to powder foundation the size is 30 milliliters one point fluid ounce Skin Perfecting Medium Coverage Liquid to Powder Matte Finish Weightlessly Smooth All Day Wear um, And then it says the same thing in a whole bunch of different languages um, Like a whole bunch of different languages So no matter where you're from and you pick this up You should have no problem reading uh, directions to use. Ensure skin is invigorated. No. <laughs> Sorry. I can't read small letters up close. I'm old. Okay. Uh, hydrated. Shake well. Squeeze to dispense a small drop and blend with brush. Or fingers tip a little goes a long way and then it says in French and then of course in more languages uh, shake well and there you go like I said medium 0 to 7 is the shade we're going to try today and here is the packaging again it is a screw off lid and there is the top. I absolutely love the component of this product. It is super pretty. This is going to look really pretty on a vanity. Now, the brush, I have been addicted to putting my foundations on with a brush here lately. And with this Milk Hydro Grip Primer, it has been working extremely well with me and the brush that I've been using I've had for a long time and it is the elf cosmetic domed and I think it's a powder brush the label has worn off I mean you can barely see that it says elf and this is what it looks like it's domed um, but it's a dense brush and it holds product really well so and because I have oily skin, the Hydro Grip Primer is not as tacky as it should be on dry skin. I 
I didn't shake it. You hear that? It has a little ball in there. I forgot to shake well. We're going to shake well. Yes, I have... I have milia in some spots on my face. Um, they kind of look like zits, but they're not zits. And I tried to get that one and I figured out it was milia and it wasn't a pimple. I hope that shook well because my arm is sore now. Okay. going to put just this much on there. Dip my brush. Grab my mirror. Uh -uh. Well, I can tell you this is pretty light. And it's kind of oily. I'm not sure about the medium coverage. I'm really not. But the shade actually did blend in pretty well, I think. So, this side has foundation on it, this side does not. I can still see I can still see skin through it. I would definitely have to put another layer on, which I don't want to, to get it a medium coverage at least. And see, and with my Charlotte Tilbury and my Estee Lauder, I can do one layer and it covers. I'm going to do, I put this much more on my hand, and we're going to do the other side. And I do the pat and swipe motion because I have large pores, oily skin, and I have um, acne scars. So when I do the patting motion like that, it fills them in 
and blends. And you might notice around my eyebrows is kind of red because I um, trimmed a little bit around my eyebrows. But the shade, when we first applied, it was really white, a lot lighter. It is blending. It is like oxidizing. So if you do decide to purchase and you get it home and you apply and it's too white, wait a second because the color is changing. Plus, you can always fix that with face powder, too, if it's just a little too light for you. And, okay, what I'm noticing... I'm going to get up really close. It's settling. I have wrinkles. Remember, I'm an old lady. I'm 42. And my pores right here and my acne scars, it's settling in there. And my wrinkles right here, my Charlotte Tilbury and my Estee Lauder, it smooths it over and it hides it, makes it a flawless finish. This is accentuating it. It's drawing attention to it. Um, it's not hiding it. It's settling right in. Um, I'm going to actually, let's go, I'm going to shake it up some more. And I'm going to add just a little bit more, and we're going to do a all over the face. I'm going to take all of that I just added, and we're going to, I'm going to dab and then blend. Like that. And we're going to add more all over. Put another layer and see how much coverage we can add. And I'm going to try not to talk or make any facial expressions so I can hide the lines.
Okay. And watch my forehead. Right now, I have no creases right here in my forehead, and right here I have a scar. Not really a scar, but it's a new wrinkle that popped up right here that's like always there. I don't know where it came from. But you see right here, I have no wrinkles right here at all, no creases. Watch. Now I do. This foundation is creasing, it's accentuating. It's, a, it's, it's, it's creasing like crazy and it's driving me insane. See, and I can blend them right out. And they come back. Um, should we try it with some Laura Mercier? Let's just get that giant powder brush and do the whole thing. I mean, I could try with the with the concealer, but. Why waste good concealer? I mean, if the foundation creases, the there's no hope for your um, for your foundation for your concealer. I really. have no hope for this foundation, first impression. That is so weird. Okay, that little bit of powder that I just used made it look cakey. And right here looks absolutely disgusting. It looks like everything is clumping right there in my creases. So, my first impression of the Kat Von D, what is it called, True Portrait Foundation is not a very good first impression. Um, it's, it creases, it settles in your fine lines, in your pores, in your acne scars, it doesn't really blend out very well, it does oxidize, that is a plus, um, so if you have the, just the slightest bit of a wrong color, if it's too light, it will, it will go to your, um, the correct tone, um, if it's just a tad bit too light. So what I'm going to do is, this is how I'm going to wear my makeup today. I'm not going to finish it. I have the powder on. I am going to spray some setting spray. And I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Matte Finish. Here, Wet n Wild Matte Finish. It is a very good matte finish for oily skin. Just 
just a little bit. And I'm going to do a check-in later on today, and we're going to see how well it works. I can probably guarantee you I'm going to have crease galore. It's not going to be pretty. So there you go. I will see you guys later. Hi, everybody. This is my check-in. Um, it is about 5 o'clock in the evening. I'm outside, out front, so if you hear some cars drive by, that's why. Um, so, I'm oily. I'm shiny. I'm not, I do not like this foundation. Um, this is definitely two stars, and that's sparingly, okay? Um, it does last, but if you want to look like a wrinkly old lady, all day. Um, it's gathering in creases, it's gathering, it's creasing, major creasing, like right here, here, gathering up here, and it's creating more wrinkles. It's also wearing off up here on my forehead, it's basically gone. Um, you can see right here, it's gathering in my, I'm going to bring you guys extremely close so you can see the real deal skin texture of Christina. I mean, on my chin, and you can see right here that area right here that I talked to you about earlier in the video. Um, this is terrible. Uh, we put it on today probably about 10.30, and it's already 5 o'clock, and my face looks like this with just foundation, with literally the best primer ever, and foundation and setting powder. That's it. Um, Estee Lauder and Charlotte Tilbury never did this. Even my e.l.f. cosmetics, literally... Elf Cosmetics didn't do this. Come on, Kat Bondi. This is ridiculous. Um, so, yeah. I don't recommend this at all. Terrible. I will be taking this back to Sephora. And I will be returning this for another product. I'm not going to keep this. I don't care how pretty. Sorry for my shakiness. I'm holding the camera. Um, I don't care how pretty the bottle is. It's not worth keeping. So, thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Love you guys. Bye.